it goes. Well, this is my backyard setup, my garden. It's still still in an evolutionary process. So I've got a couple of new beds in here. Need to get soil for that one. Yarrow struggling away. So a bit of a sort of a herb selection here. Some ha young habaneros and some mint and some rosemary and some thyme there and lime tree. And a strawberry bed here. Another bed here with cucumbers and beans. Look at those. Giant Stuttgarts. Giant Stuttgart. Giant, I'm growing giant Stuttgarts and lazy housewives. So I've got some carrots coming up there. Another bed here with um, lettuce and celery there. I grew them from seeds, those celery. And more cucumbers and peas in here. Silver beet, all heirloom, heritage silver beet, more beans in here. And this is the bed I'm having problems with. There's a, there's a, a nitrogen deficiency here. You can see those yellowing leaves down the bottom. That indicates a nitrogen deficiency. So um, I've collected, <laughs> collected urine today and I'm going to um, dilute it and stick it on there in an attempt to correct it. So in the front here, a row of heirloom carrots. They've come up really well and I've planted another row of carrots not that long back and they started to come up already so maybe carrots don't need so much nitrogen. And uh, jalapeno. These are these garden beds that I made, uh, these planter boxes that I made on the weekend out of uh, fence palings. So they were a hassle to make, but they, were, they look really good. And I've planted them with blueberries. I've got a couple of blueberries. As you can see already. Little berries. So they, they like an acidic soil. So I bought on an azalea mix and I've got some parsley coming up in there. Potato in there. I've grown potatoes on, on pallets and wrapped up in wire. And fig. Fig, got some little little figs. So they, these will all have to, be, have to be netted to keep the birds off. So I've got heaps of netting. So we'll, we'll keep the birds out. Let's go and see the chooks. This is their shed. So on the weekend, I lifted it off the ground. It was on the ground. And when we get a lot of rain here, which we've just had over the weekend. I mean, it, you know, despite the fact that there's lots of straw in there, it just wasn't healthy, so, so it needed, needed to come off the ground. So I did all that and put that on. Here's another potato bed. Wormwood, the chooks really love wormwood. They, they jump up and peck at that. So here they are. Their little, their little home. Hey, girls. How are you? There you go, you can get out. You watch this. They'll go down there, they'll go down there, and then there'll be all this squawking and carrying on. <laughs> they're hilarious. Then they'll, then they'll come back up. Oh, there's usually a heap of squawking. And they, they've been getting underneath the awning, underneath the um, house, and they just trashed the garden bed the other day, so. So I've had to put that barrier, that barrier up there <laughs> to keep the buggers out. Because there's, there's an inside, there's, there's an awning up there outside our house, and and there's some you know like palm garden beds, like a rockery type thing that they just absolutely trashed. And they've they've managed those chooks since they've been living here. They've managed to turn this all this all that was all grass, right? <laughs> and they just turn it into a dust bowl. So uh, just take note of that if you're planning to get chooks. Because I, uh, I'll turn your, your yard into a dust bowl. Anyway, let's see if we've got any eggs. There's a couple of broody ones here, so we'll see. There's a little kitter bowl. I give him kefir when I've got spare, which is usually sort of three or four times a week. 
Get rid of the basket. Okay. All right. So there's the broody ones. Come on, girls. Off you get. Off you get. Off you get. Go and get out. Go on. You too. Come on. Okay. How many eggs have we got today? Six, seven. They've been disturbed. Um, I because I, I rebuilt their um, their shed too. So we will get these eggs. Beautiful eggs. I mean, you just can't buy eggs fresh like this. When you you know say you fry them and you crack them into the into a fry pan, all the the white stays together. Doesn't it doesn't spread? So they, they nest in, that's like a, um, a bamboo leaf mix, they like it. And this is just a dog kennel that, and we had a neighbour move back to England, gave us this dog kennel, so that's been trans, <coughs> transformed into a nesting box. So they, this was, uh, I re rearranged all of this and I, I um, rearranged their perching arrangements. And I, th I think they're still, still slightly stressed out from that. So we usually get about 10 or 11 a day and sometimes, sometimes they'll lay in here. There's nothing there. Nothing there. Alright, so there's their mash and their water and their seed mix, they have a scratch mix. So this has been an evolving, an evolving process. It's still not ideal, but it's good enough. So we've, the sun built this awning just recently. You know, before that was just blue plastic. It was hopeless. What's going on? So now this is the next thing that will get organised. Is this compost arrangement? So I've got more pallets there. So going to get quite an extensive. Uh, well, a row of compost bays anyway. So, so that's it. There's me, me little garden. I like to spend a lot of time. Spend the whole weekend out here. It's fabulous. So, uh, there's my seedlings going. These green minionettes. Oh, yeah. No, nothing up yet. But. Some baby cos up and uh, some red deer tongue, red deer tongue lettuce. I've just planted some more beans. And there. hey Gracie, Hi. I got the eggs. There's only seven again. Okay, you want to grab them? Hello? You want to grab them? Just there. Any eggs on the ground? Um, Didn't look like it. Isn't she gorgeous? <laughs> Grace is the, the the chief chook wrangler, aren't you? Right? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Huh? That's it.